Getting started with outages I.O. Click on the Sign Up Now link on our website and you'll be directed to a different website called ocp.outages.io. This is where the service resides and stands for Outages I.O. Control Panel or OCP for short. Enter your email address, first and last name, then choose a username and a password that you'll remember. Write it down if needed because you'll use it again to install the software and to log in to your control panel to see your reports. We'd love to know how you heard about us. Did you find us on a search engine, a website, Facebook ad? Maybe a friend or a neighbor told you about us. We're trying hard to get the word out about Outages I.O. and this will help us. The more specific your input, the more helpful it is and we really appreciate it. When done filling in the fields, click on the blue sign up button at the bottom of the screen. A few moments later you should see an email from Outages I.O. with the subject account activation. If you don't see it within a couple of minutes, be sure to check your spam or junk folder to make sure it didn't land there. If it did, please whitelist Outages I.O. so that you can receive reports and notifications from the site otherwise you may miss them. In the email you received, click on the link or cut and paste it into your browser to confirm your email address and activate your account. You should see a message that says your account has been activated and you've been logged in. If you don't, click the F5 button on your keyboard to refresh your browser. Now let's install our first agent. Before doing that, there are two things to keep in mind. Make sure that you're logged in to your PC with full administrator privileges. This is an important step because a lower level account may not allow the installer to install the software as it needs to. The second thing is making sure that you've removed any previous copy of the agent if one was ever installed. If you don't, the installer may install two copies and neither will work. Once you've met these basic requirements, click on the Create Software Aging button. Choose the operating system your computer is running from the drop-down list. Next, type the physical address where your agent will be installed. This is an important step that helps our algorithms to give you correct reports. Setting the location in this way gives all agents on Outages I.O. consistent location method. This ensures that your reports are shown in the correct time zones and to gather more accurate details about each of the providers in your area. Consequently, if others in your area are using Outages I.O., your map can show when neighbors are seeing the same issues that you are. No more guessing or having to ask online friends if they're experiencing problems too. You'll know if your provider is having problems that are affecting others or if the problems are beyond your provider. Note that your full address is only shown in your settings and it's only used to determine the correct location of your agent. Next, click on the Autofill Address button and this should automatically populate the map fields. If the map is not right, say you live in a rural area, you can zoom in and out, move the map around, and click on the location manually. That'll fill in the address information. Once done, click the Create button to save this address and you'll be taken to the Download and Install page. Here you can read through the terms and conditions by clicking that link. You may also want to read through the install notes below. We should mention that when we started development, the service was called Nutpiled Networks. You may see this name pop up throughout the install process and this is normal and a part of the Outages I.O. software. When ready, click on the Agree to Terms and Conditions button and the download link will appear. Download and save the file to your drive. Once saved, double click the file to start the installer. If you're running a Microsoft or other virus protection scanner, you may get a screen like this asking if it's okay to run the application. Click OK or whatever your virus scanner requests to approve the installation. This tutorial is using Windows 10 and by clicking the More Info link you'll see the Run Anyway link appear. Click that and the install will proceed. The Nutpile Network Service Agreement will pop up. Click on the I agree to the license terms and conditions box once reviewed and then click install. You'll see the green bar start to move as the software is installing. When it's almost installed, you'll get a pop-up asking for your credentials. 
The credentials being asked for are the same username and password you created at the beginning when you signed up. This is used to tell the agent that it belongs to you and your reports. Enter your credentials and click OK. The system will check the credentials and say installation successfully completed when it's done. Click the close button and close out of your file manager screen. Now go back to your browser tab and out of Gizio. You can wait for the install notes page to refresh on its own or you can click on the agents menu item. If you continue seeing a complete installation notice, it means the installer did not complete properly. You'll have to uninstall the agent and reinstall it again. In most cases, the problem was that the person was not logged in with full administrative rights. You'll know you've completed the installation properly when you go to the Outages I.O. Agents page and see your agent in the green active status. From this point on, your agent will log any problems that your connection might experience. Keep in mind that when you install an agent on a PC that you shut down for the night, it will not track outages or any other connection issues. If you aren't able to run your computer 24-7, but really would like continual monitoring, you may want to consider purchasing one of our hardware agents. At this point, you'll want to get to know your dashboard where all of your reports are generated and displayed. We have an FAQ on our www site. You can get help at any time in our forums, or you can watch our video called Manage Agents List and Intro to Dashboard for a basic walkthrough.